Ja, Skauer. <lacht> you are watching the IEC 61131 Basics Video Tutorial Series and the topic is Software Orientation. Hi, I'm Matt Pelletier and the idea here is to get you familiar with some of the how-tos of our software, MotionWorks IEC Pro, before we get too deep into IEC 61131-3 programming. So let's begin. Well, let's first be sure that everybody has MotionWorks IEC installed. Uh, I wanted to uh, point out that we have a download page. There's a little shortcut here if you need to check for any updates as you move along with Yaskawa. That's yaskawa.com slash IEC SW for software. Let me take a look at that here real quick. So yaskawa.com IEC SW. And this is the place to check to be sure that you have the latest version of either Pro or Express. And this is the launch page for all software-oriented questions, such as installation instructions, uh, system requirements. If you're not sure if your computer can uh, run it, there is a version 1. Uh, we'll be focusing on the version 2 release in all of these videos. And version 3 is also coming soon. And just to summarize some of the uh, requirements here, especially for Windows XP, it's common that the computer may not have Surface Pack 3 or may not have .NET 3.5. .NET 3.5 is an additional piece of software that's used by many applications. You are likely to already have it, uh, especially if you have Windows 7. But in both cases, you will need it, and it's quite a hefty download. This is explained also in the installation instructions. So see that on the software page for more information. One item that is uh, nice with Windows 7 is if you are using a language other than English, Windows 7 does have better support in the help system and programming system for languages other than English. Registration of the software is also a common question. You do have 30 days after download and installation and first use by uh, which you can use the software free of charge. And after that time, you'll be presented with uh, this type of uh, block here, Program Not Authorized. And uh, what the idea to do here is to click Electronic Registration and enter your serial number. You'll get the serial number either from the physical media on your CD, or uh, we're also moving to the uh, email-based serial number. So you'd get an email when you order the official version with the serial number. The USB license option is particularly useful in the maintenance arena so that you can have uh, several computers all with the software installed and then you just plug in the USB license to whichever computer happens to be used at the time. Now, if you're having any issues, we do have a video and uh, that explains a little bit about how to do this. So uh, keep that in mind. It's on YouTube and also on our website. All right, so here's the video, and you can see that the uh, the doc ID is elv.motionworksiec.01.registration. So uh, take a search for for that, and I think you'll find it. Now, within version 2, there are two offerings of the software. There's the Express and the Pro-style software. And the question then is often, what's the difference between the two? And so let me go through here a little list of comparisons. The Express software has a simple interface, a little bit more a simple interface, fewer buttons, fewer options, whereas Pro has the full options interface. This is the version that we'll be using for all these videos, is the Pro version. The main limitation of the Express software is that of being able to execute only one task. And we'll see what that means as we progress with these videos, and I'll point that out. With MotionWorks IEC Pro, we have the capability of multitasking, which adds a performance advantage to your application. Express also has the limitation of only two of the languages, structured text and ladder diagram. A function block code can be inserted in the ladder diagram. So in a sense, there are three languages officially, though there are only two. But with MotionWorks IEC Pro, we have access fully and officially to all of the five languages. And in a future video, we'll go through what those are. And you'll see some examples of that. Um, while Express is easy to use, easy to learn, uh, MotionWorks IEC Pro is also not 
too uh, hard to use and learn. Another difference, of course, is the final cost to the user, uh, a low cost for the Express. And compared to uh, competing software, I think you'll find that even Motionworks IEC Pro has a medium cost. So bottom line, when do you need Express? When do you need Pro? Uh, for Express, use it for simple applications point-to-point -point moves, maybe camming, gearing, and Ethernet, all of this is available. But when you have the most demanding, highest performance applications, it's time to look for Pro. And uh, converting from Express up to Pro is also very easy. You just open your Express project in Pro, it'll convert it. And uh, you don't really have to start over or lose the work that you've done in Express. If you think maybe Express will work for you, uh, you can start with Express and work to Pro. However, each of the two does have separate licensing, and so the license would be purchased separately for each of these software uh, versions. And that is exactly the point mentioned here in this page. Separate license for Express and Pro. And as I mentioned, uh, the project can be opened and converted, but you can't downgrade. You would very rarely ever need to go from express uh, from excuse me from pro back to express so that functionality has not been developed however you can open sessions simultaneously of pro and express and you can copy items between the two and uh, do more of a manual conversion between uh, two projects if that's ever required and now one concept before we move on with the software is i do want to keep in mind that we are expecting that you eventually will have a real PLC, a real controller, or we hope a Skywa controller. And through this controller, there are several software packages, or um, I should say software interfaces, that are available. One is the web server. That's a, a web page that resides on the controller, which is used to confirm communications, uh, look at alarms, uh, restore parameters, etc., test motion. And then what we'll be focusing on in this class is MotionWorks IEC. And MotionWorks IEC also has a hardware portion to it called the hardware configuration. And in this uh, IEC basic series, we will not be using anything other than just MotionWorks IEC. And instead of a real PLC, we'll be using uh, a feature built into the software called the PLC Simulator. So this way, uh, you guys out there can be following along. You don't need to have any hardware, or any communication, any connections out there. Everything's self-contained for the purposes of the IEC Basics training program. And with all of the things that you can do with MotionWorks IEC, this training program will be concentrating and looking at monitoring and editing your application program uh, using the different languages, setting up your tasks, programs, functions, and IO. So without further introduction, why don't we uh, go ahead and uh, start MotionWorks IEC. If you haven't already done so, uh, you're invited. And uh, in fact, the idea here is that you would follow along with me and uh, learn by doing. That's our motto at Yaskawa Training. You don't really learn it until you actually do it. So I will demonstrate it and you can follow along if you need to pause for any reason, of course, you can do that. That's the advantage of this pre-recorded training tutorial. So if you don't have a desktop icon, you'll see this under uh, Windows 7 All Programs, Yaskawa, Motionworks IEC 2 Pro, Launch. And your first step will be to start a new project. I'll demonstrate that. Pretty standard operation here, File, New Project. And then you're presented with a template for the different controllers that are supported by the software. And in this class, we will choose the PLC simulator template. You can see the other controllers are listed there as well. And this screen means that the software is now checking the license. The first time that runs, the 30-day clock will start to tick. And here we are with a reference to the MotionWorks IEC main screen. So let's take a moment to uh, behold the interface. There are a few important buttons there at the top to allow you to enlarge uh, your programming space. If you have a smaller screen, you can toggle these different windows on and off. And now let's focus our attention on the area within the project tree window on the left called logical POUs. 
So have you heard of the term POU, the acronym? What does it stand for? It stands for Program Organization Unit. Program Organization Unit. And we are given here a Program Organization Unit as part of the template called Main. And this Program Organization Unit has three parts. There's a text area for comments and descriptions. There's a uh, variables area, see the V and the T there at the end indicating that. And then there's the main code page. So why don't we go ahead and open these up. You can see there the main text, the variable list with nothing in it, and the main code page. And then let's focus our attention over here at the right where it says edit wizard. So this area at the right called the edit wizard is simply the list of instructions that will be used to create your program. And you can pull down the list as it shows here and see different groupings of those instructions. So let's have this be our first little exercise. It's not really a program that does anything, but it's a way to get used to the look and feel uh, of the software. I'd like you to try to find these different uh, function blocks, add a counter, an F trig, a move, and add a couple variables to it. And I'll show you here the different ways to, to enter it uh, and, and work with this. So see if you can follow along with me. And again, if you need to pause it or rewind it, that's great. So for the first one here, let's just take the top one that you see here, Edit Wizard, under Favorites. It says is an ad. Now, by the way, it is important that you click on this uh, main tab and you're in the programming space. Uh, you will not be able to see the this instructions if you're in an area that this instructions don't apply to. So stay there under main and let's uh, add. Uh, you can just drag it in from the edit wizard. Now you'll be presented with this error and in a sense the word error is a bit exaggerated. What they're trying to tell you is that uh, the execution number and highlight feedback may be wrong until next successful compilation means that there is supposed to be a number that tells you the order of execution. And for now, we're just going to put it with a question mark. So that's all the error is. You didn't really do anything wrong. So we did the add. Um, we said counter, counter up, CTU, counter up. Just drag them in there. Uh, they're presenting you with a name. I usually just click OK. And that's the, uh, the the title above it. You can move those around. You can connect them together. You just uh, click and drag and connect an output to an input. Another basic operation is to add a variable. To add a variable in function block language like this, uh, you double click on this uh, blue uh, dot. You can double click or highlight it and hit the enter key. And then this is how you can name the variable. We'll have a lot more to say about variables, uh, but for now, let's just call it value, value one, and click OK to that one. Again, if you're into keystrokes, you can just uh, arrow down and up and hit the Enter key. There, hit the Enter key is called value two. And uh, hit the Enter key again, OK, puts it in there, save a little time with keystrokes if you get used to it. Uh, another keystroke shortcut that you'll appreciate is uh, although, if you don't know what the name of the instruction is, you can try to find it here and uh, get some hints by the uh, the name of it or the description. And later we'll see how to use the help. But if you know the name of it, you can simply type it. You hit down your crosshair and hit, uh, for example, I want F trig. I'll type F. There it came up already. But as much as you need to type, it'll auto-complete. You hit enter, and again enter, and it puts it right in there. Uh, we'll do another one here called move. There it is, move. And maybe I wanted to connect uh, this together. Now, I'm not going to complete this. Again, this is just a little play area, and uh, you can feel free to, to uh, play around in here and uh, try to use some of the other ones until you feel comfortable with um, adding and entering and, and adding variables.